your position room back? What's that? This used to be your position room? Well, this used to be your room, right? <laughs> no. We were borrowing it. And it's reclaimed. Now, hopefully, we're back in that other side of the building, and it's just as fun. We did have a lot of room in here. It was fun. There was a lot of room for activities, and we had a good time in here. So hopefully, we didn't taint it too hard for you guys, too much. What did your uh, uncle have to tell you when you became an official position coach, uh, offensive line uh, for the Packers? You know, he was excited, very grateful. Um, you know, I think you know his thoughts on the Green Bay Packers, and I'll leave it at that. But he was uh, excited for me and the opportunity and my family to stay one and, and to obviously lead the group was pretty cool. You're not going to get him to wear even a single thing green? <laughs> not him. No, maybe my dad could do that, but I can't. What do you think of him on Twitter? <laughs> you know, I, I don't follow him on Twitter because some of the things that he was he was uh, going in on. But you know, I think it's just a friend, friendly rivalry. You know, he uh, he's very opinionated and as well as you should be. You know, he spent his nine year career for that team down in Chicago, and uh, you know they had some great battles. You know, great friendships too. I know him and and Ray Nitschke were very close, and along with my father. And so there was a lot of respect. But I think now he's having a lot of fun with this whole rivalry. Yeah, on Twitter he said, shout out to my nephew Luke, the new O-line coach for the Packers. So great so great to see you moving up with an expansion team. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's funny. I mean, I'll, I'll give him that. You know, he is witty, but, um, you know, we'll see. We'll take care of all that stuff and we play him next year. And what's it been like growing up having that name on, on, a, on a serious note? I'm sure there's always been expectations that, that come with that, right? Well, just like any family, right? I'm proud, you know, uh, of everyone. In my family, what they've accomplished uh, in the football world, outside the football world. Um, you know, we're a big family. Um, so there's a lot of great things that are happening all the time with my family. And um, with the name, yeah, maybe it carried a little burden for me following them going to, to Illinois. But I followed my brother, I followed my dad, I followed my cousins and other uncles that went to Illinois. So um, there was always that maybe expectation. Uh, but I quickly realized that. I mean, I can't. I, no, who can match what he did? So just to be realistic, be who I am, and you know, be my own individual a little bit. That that kind of helped. When you look like, how do you go about kind of just piecing together? You know, Elvis coming off the injury, David still coming off the injury, you know, Billy just kind of piecing together what you want to put together this season. Well, I mean, I think Steno talked about it too a little bit. Um, we're going to find the best five. It is April. We have a lot of time. Uh, we have a lot of good players in that room that sat in this room uh, this past year, and we'll probably add a few more, you know. Um, excited for the challenge, and I know these guys are too. I mean, everybody in this room is versatile. You know, they've played multiple positions, or not everybody, but multiple positions for most of them, um, and we're gonna find the best fit, the best five on the field, uh, and I'm sure we'll play around with that a little bit, um, but I, I feel confident that the guys in this room, they, they, they have what it takes, and uh, they know how to play football. In that regard, with Elton, whenever he's healthy enough to play, do you have a preference, guard, tackle, or where, where he fits best? That's, that's a great question. Uh, I think Elton's a stud, um, and he's proved that he could play a lot of different positions. Um, again, it's April. He, he's banged up. Um, I know he's working his butt off. I had great conversations with Elton. Um, I know how hard he's working. I know what kind of kid he is, how competitive he is. Uh, I know he'll be back, and whenever he does come back, we'll kind of figure all that stuff out. Hey Luke, what was it like watching Yash, you know, with his journey the last three years with you guys to, to graduating into that starting role? What did you think once he got that opportunity? What I mean, did with it, it's awesome. I mean, you, you got to love it, right? I mean, Yash, is, he's one, he's a great human being. Um, and then just seeing how hard he works. And, and every day after practice, I was given the opportunity to work with the young guys. Um, and to see how far he's come in the last three years has been really cool. And then get a chance to go out there and play and, and produce and, and play against some pretty good competition, you know, playing guys like 97 from San Francisco and, you know, 90 from, from Pittsburgh. I mean, and he held his own. So I'm excited, and I think uh, he's got a huge upside still. What do you think of him on the, on the right side? Is he a starting caliber right tackle? Well, again, okay. we'll, we'll figure all that stuff out. I think if Yash works at it, Yash can do whatever he wants. Um, but, again, we're going to figure that out through, through spring, through training camp. Um, but, yeah, he's, he's going to have an opportunity. David's progress been this summer, or not excuse me, this offseason. You know, again, same thing with Elton. You know, I know he's banged up a little bit and he's coming off the injury. Um, we, we just, more we just talk right now, just two guys, right? Uh, love David, love what he's all about. 
uh, who he's trying to become. You know, I, he just got married. Um, so we've had some talks about that um, coming off his honeymoon, but uh, there's no doubt in my mind that he'll get back to who he once was. Luke, what, what do you think of the rookie season Royce had last year? Uh, ups and downs, just like any rookie. It's growing pains, right? Royce is from Nashville, Illinois. I mean, you probably don't even know where that's at. Uh, goes to Ole Miss and, and comes in to play for the most storied franchise in the history of NFL. Um, has tons of talent, great kid, will work. Um, but it, it's going to take some time and um, did some really good things for us. And we expect that from, from him in the future, but just more consistently. What's the next step for Myers in his development as a Well, same thing. Just coming back from that injury, uh, getting in football shape, taking command of this offense. Um, but again, I think the ceiling is really high with Josh. What do you think of how Runyon kind of just handled himself last year? Uh, again, I, can't, I, I know I'm saying a lot, but John is a pro. He gets it, football pedigree, background, um, just solid in everything he does. He comes to work. He's a football guy. What's different? What's different about your job, Luke? Um, I mean, just through this off season now, compared to maybe what your role was previously. I'll be standing up here probably a little bit more. <laughs> but uh, you know, Steno was great. Steno put me in front of the room, installed protections, and and was up in front a lot. Um, maybe a little bit more now, uh, but not a whole lot. You know, uh, I, I'm sure Steno will be in here a little bit. And uh, but as far as my role of being the, the guy in front. Just probably presence a little bit more, but I think overall we're all kind of teaching the same thing, and they're going to hear it from me and Steno and now Ryan Mahaffey. So I don't think it changes that much. When you look back at how you guys were able to piece together last year, how that went, could you have asked for it to have gone any better than it? I, I would love to sit here and say this is all us. Look at look at us. Look at me. But no, it's not us. It's those guys, um, true pros in this room and. There was a standard set here a long time ago, you know, the guy in the back right there uh, with the messed up pinky, you know. He, th there's been a standard here set. So when we first got here in 19, you know, the job, I'm not saying it was easy, but, you know, the leadership we had and the standard that was set here by those old timers, having Brian Bulaga, um, you know, having Corey, having Bach, bringing in Billy, it, it made it a lot easier. Just going back to living with the name, what's been, have you heard, do you hear something, do you hear stuff when you go back to Chicago when y'all are playing the Bears in the road, or how much do you hear from fans? Uh, not so much. I was up in the box every once in a while coming down from that elevator and that long uh, golf cart ride, you'd get a few slurs there, here and there, but uh, no, not much. I mean, it's football. But they do recognize you, a few people at least recognize you. From uh, you yeah. know, just old, old friends more than anything. I don't think the fans are kind of singling me out like, hey, look at that. SOB or anything like that, you know. Um, but no, friends and family, they, they like to joke a little bit, obviously. We just talked about that a little bit.